the real estate market is not slowing down. Hi, this is Gabriella Gustinelli with Gabriella A Team and Remax, and welcome to our market update for January. And it's my first video of the year, so Happy New Year! Just coming back from vacations in Brazil. If you saw my social media and follow me, so I got married. That was exciting. Now I'm ready to start, energize, and bring you some very useful information and keep you updated about the market. So we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. The market is not slowing down. Buyer's demand is too high, as you can see on the map. Maryland on blue under the strong index. Another indication is showing time. Showing time is the app that schedules showing for realtors. As you can see, we are having a large volume of showings. We are still at seller's market. Inventory hits the historic low, as you can see on the map. Compared with last December 2020, the house inventory is 27% lower than a year before. That's the national average. In Maryland, it's down 12.2%. On this next slide, you can see the months of inventory since January 19 until the last data from NAR, National Association of Realtors, that is 2.1 months of inventory across the country. Very low inventory. Let's talk about home price. The specialists are forecasting an increase on 5.2% in average. The specialists are also questioning if we hit the peak or if it's a plateau. As you see on this graphic, appreciation starts at 10%, going up to over 19%. So I don't see home appreciating appreciation dropping from 18, 19 to 5% overnight or in one year. We'll keep an eye on it and, and keep you posted. This next graphic shows how the market is in full motion. We see here the pending sales that are higher now than pre-pandemic. Now let's talk about interest rates. As we talked about on our last market report, the specialist forecast rates creeping up a little bit. We had interest rates on the middle twos uh, last year, and I checked today, it was 3.75 for 30 years long with a 7.75 credit score. Bringing this to perspective, so let's pretend you were buying a home for $400,000. Change rates from 2.8 to 3.8 with 10% down payment which would represent around $200 increase on your monthly mortgage. This next slide shows the interest rate projections according with Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, MBA, and NAR for each quarter. At the last column, you can see the average for all four. So from 3.3 to 3.7, it's what they are predicting. Great interest rate, very low, what it's increased by a power comparing with previous years. As you can see on this graphic from Freddie Mac. So let's talk about equity. That's very exciting. Do you know how much your house is worth? If you wanna know how much your house is worth, if you have a home here in Southern Maryland, give me a call. I can send you a quick CMA or send you some comps. According with CoreLogic, the average homeowner gained 57000 in equity. In Maryland and Virginia, it was around $46,000 in average. If you look across the country, this is the third quarter data year over year. Let's take a look now what Frank Martel from CoreLogic said. Not only have equity gains helped homeowners more seamlessly transaction out of forbearance and avoid distressed sale, but they've also enabled many continue building their wealth. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this from YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep updating our videos. Thank you so much. Obrigada.